Hello everyone, this is Levi Sher, and today I am making a video about my 3D printed plastic pulse jet engines. A valveless pulse jet engine is a type of engine which requires no moving parts. I will attach an animation depicting how this works, however I will not be going into any technical information because there are already a handful of videos on YouTube that do just that. I would like to specifically thank Integza, who is a terrific YouTuber who has made a handful of videos about pulse jet engines. Without his videos, I would not have been inspired to design my own, and I wouldn't have had the technical information required to do so. So once again, thank you, Integza. I will be sure to attach some of his videos down below. Uh, so if you're interested, please take a look. A little bit about the design of my own engine. Uh, the engine, uh, its internal volume was designed by a man named Eric Beck. I got his plans off of one of Integza's video, uh, and I'll be sure to put those plans down below. I took Eric's design and uh, drew it out in Fusion 360, which I then used to build out the rest of the engine. The engine was printed on my Elogu Mars Pro in Sierra Tech Build Resin. The combustion chamber is here. The intake is right near this pink 3D printed part, and the nozzle is this long section here. The pink part is where air is introduced, and this tube is where fuel is introduced. I will now show the engine working. Unfortunately, this engine does not perform as a pulse jet engine does perform. And that could be for a variety of reasons. However, I wasn't necessarily expecting it to work. A few reasons that I suspect are that I am lighting the flame with a lighter from the tip of the nozzle, whereas a traditional pulse jet engine has a spark plug inside of the chamber, which is where you want the ignition to start. And as you can see in the video of the engine firing, the combustion is actually occurring sometimes a few inches out front of the nozzle and that's just not going to work. Secondly, this engine shouldn't need to have additional compressed air introduced to it. However, I found that in order to have anything remotely close to a successful fire, I did need to have air introduced through this tube where the fuel is introduced. And that is okay. However, I don't have an air compressor, so I was just blowing from my mouth through the hose, and the air coming out of my mouth is quite wet. Uh, as you can see, possibly in the tube, there's a lot of moisture built up, and I'm sure that does not help with the engine. So the conjunction of the small size, the lack of a spark plug inside of the chamber, and the lack of uh, dry air, uh, I believe that is why this engine failed. However, I had fun experimenting and seeing if it was possible, and I may consider trying a larger version, which will probably lead to a higher success rate in the future. Uh, but for now, this is what I've come up with, and I hope you've enjoyed watching. Thank you.